What's going on guys? It is Alric Phoenix. It is Friday. Finally, it has been raining like a little girl's tears in Canada. At least in my part of Canada. It's been driving me up the wall. This is League Play. This is me sniping in League Play. I... So, I've, I've mentioned this I don't know how many times in terms of how, like, on a weekly basis, I will have terrible, frustrating games, and then all of a sudden, like, one day in the middle of a week, like, a, some switch in my brain or my body or something will just flip, or in the game will just flip, and all of a sudden I am crushing every game I go into. Uh, that's what's been going on with me. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every game. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I was doing, or Monday, Monday, Tuesday, just everything was going wrong. I couldn't play. I was getting frustrated, getting angry, rage quitting everywhere. And then Wednesday night, I'm like, oh, wow, my shot, my shot was on. League play sniping. This is with uh, the Mech Clan. So team, you can go check out their channel. Their link is down below. Um, uh, yeah, for whatever reason, my my shot's been on. I, I got a couple of actually really good gameplays. Um, I'm gonna play tonight actually. I'm I don't I, I uploaded this game because I thought it was pretty good and I like getting final kill cams. And uh, this these guys got uh, their shit stomped in. Uh, I also triple feed, which in you know hard point league play is not common. I triple feed actually not with a sniper rifle unfortunately, but with a. Uh, I guess it was the AN-94. You'll see it. It comes up. Anyways, yeah. So, that's the gameplay. Fast hands. Snipey. Whatever. Ballista. I might I might go into league play with a uh, uh, Iron Sight Ballista just to see. Just to see. Because I'm curious. But I, I don't know if you can do like the hard point matches and not be part of a team. I don't know. This is PS3, so this weird... Weird rules for us, PlayStation inhabitants. Uh, new trailers came out like this week for uh, like all the new superhero movies. Like Man of Steel, the new Superman movie trailer came out. The, like the third trailer. Uh, I hate when they do this. It's like, oh, here's here's three trailers of the Man of Steel. And I'm like, wow, this is incredible. And then here's trailer number two of the Man of Steel. Wow, this is edited in just a slightly different order, but still incredible. Then here's trailer three. Wow, you had one new scene, but everything was exactly the same. Why did I just watch that? <laughs> but you know, I couldn't. And then, you know, and, and then when you think you're sick of the trailer, someone's like, "Oh, you know what? And we're gonna mash it up with this completely not relevant uh, video, so that way it looks like you're, you're, we made a tra the entire trailer out of Lego. We made the entire trailer using the animated Superman movie, TV show, which was good actually." Man, cartoons were great when I was a kid. I, I watched cartoons forever, and they were always good. But there were a few... There, there was a couple years where there was great cartoons. And I keep thinking back to X-Men in the 96, 97 years, because like people would die... You know, Professor Xavier was gonna die. People were saying he's in a hospital bed. Like you can watch it on Netflix if you guys have Netflix. You can probably YouTube it as well. Like the last episode of the original X Men cartoon. Like Professor Xavier's gonna die. People are saying their goodbyes and they're crying. And you're sitting there like, oh my god, how could they show this to me as a kid? But they did. Anyways, but yeah, so that came out and Thor two. I don't know how people write for Thor. Like, objectively speaking, I don't know how the Thor movie is fun. I mean, I get it. I watched it, and it, was, it wasn't a bad movie, but it must be incredibly hard to, like, base a movie around a god. I mean, okay, I guess he's a demigod, so he's, like, half-god. Like, Norse gods are all, like, half-gods, and he's, like, half-god. But I guess, really, in this in the Marvel movie universe. He's almost like an alien half-god. It's a little confusing. But, like, you know, the, there's a difference between a god, someone who's, like, always been a god, and someone who's like, oh, looks like I'm a god now. Which is Superman. Superman's, like, he's a regular guy, and then he kind of realizes he's a god. Ish. God-ish. And then there's Thor, who's like, 
I've always been a god. Oh, 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 let me hit things with hammers. I don't, like, I, I don't know how you write for that stuff. So really it just ends up being the same story over and over again where it's, oh, I hate my brother. I don't know Thor's accent, so I'm, I'm sure I've just completely butchered it. Anyways, I am super excited for these movies to come out, though. I love them. I, I cannot get enough of superhero stuff. I was always a bit of a superhero nerd. You know, I, 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 love, I loved comics. I loved superheroes. Uh, X-Men was my thing. Uh, G.I. Joe, I, I kind of liked, I guess, as a kid. But for the most part, I, w I was a Marvel and DC Universe kind of guy. Uh, I, I kept to the mainstream Marvel and DC Universe. Uh, I knew a bit of the fringe, but not. I didn't venture too deeply into that. Mostly because, you know, comic books and shit are expensive, and I don't want to drop that kind of money. Anyways, gameplay's winding down. You guys can see that uh, we just stomped these guys at hard point. Like, not even... It's not like it was like 200 to 150. It was, you know, 200 to like 30. So, I'm out, guys. I'm going to go eat some dinner with my wife. So have a good weekend. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.